What's up everyone? It's your favorite channel Social Celebrity Lifestyle here back with another juicy expose. Today, we're diving deep into the shocking downfall of one of the biggest names in the music industry, Sean Diddy Combs. Now, we all know Diddy as the larger-than-life mogul who built an empire from the ground up. From his early days as Puff Daddy to his reign as the king of hip-hop, he's been a fixture in pop culture for decades. But what you might not know is the web of legal troubles and shady dealings that were lurking beneath the surface. Well, the feds have finally caught up with Diddy, and the evidence they've uncovered is absolutely mind-blowing. His own attorneys turned on him to save their own skins, and the new revelations are going to leave you absolutely shook. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and get ready for the downfall of one of the music industry's biggest icons. This is a story you definitely don't want to miss. Let's rewind a bit and take a look at how Diddy built his empire. He got his start in the early 90s as an intern at Uptown Records, where he quickly proved his talent for spotting and cultivating new stars. He launched his own label, Bad Boy Records, in 1993 and signed acts like the notorious B.I.G., Madalari, and Faith Evans. Diddy's savvy production skills and knack for marketing transformed these artists into megastars, and Bad Boy became one of the most influential labels in hip-hop. Diddy's own persona as Puff Daddy also exploded onto the scene, with his larger-than-life stage presence and hit singles like Can't Nobody Hold Me Down and I'll Be Missing You. He was the epitome of the flashy, successful hip-hop mogul, rocking expensive suits, driving the hottest cars, and surrounding himself with beautiful women. By the late 90s, Diddy had diversified his empire, launching clothing lines, a magazine, and even a charter school. He was making millions and solidifying his status as one of the most powerful figures in the music industry. But of course, as the old saying goes, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And Diddy's empire was about to come crashing down in spectacular fashion. The first crack started to show in the early 2000s, when Diddy found himself at the center of a high-profile criminal investigation. In 1999, he and his entourage were involved in a shooting at a New York City nightclub that left three people injured. Diddy was arrested and charged with illegal weapons possession, but he was later acquitted. However, the incident cast a dark cloud over Diddy's squeaky-clean image and raised questions about the nature of his business dealings. Were his connections to the criminal underworld deeper than he was letting on? Diddy's legal troubles continued to mount in the years that followed. He was sued by multiple former business partners and artists who accused him of shady accounting practices and unfair contract negotiations. There were also persistent rumors of Diddy's involvement in the unsolved murders of Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G. But the real bombshell came in 2020, when the feds launched a sprawling RICO investigation into Diddy's activities. RICO, or the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, is a powerful federal law that allows prosecutors to go after the leaders of criminal organizations for their involvement in a wide range of illegal activities. The feds had been quietly building their case against Diddy for years, and what they uncovered was truly shocking. Prosecutors alleged that Diddy had been running a vast criminal enterprise through Bad Boy Records, using the label as a front for everything from money laundering and fraud to drug trafficking and murder. The evidence was said to be overwhelming. Wiretaps, financial records, and testimony from numerous witnesses who had turned on Diddy in exchange for leniency. The feds were confident they could finally take down one of the music industry's biggest kingpins. Now, you might think that with all the resources and legal firepower at his disposal, Diddy would be able to mount a fierce defense against these charges. But what happened next was truly shocking. His own attorneys turned on him. As the RICO investigation intensified, Diddy's legal team reportedly held a series of closed-door meetings with federal prosecutors. And in a stunning move, they ultimately decided to cut a deal and turn over evidence against their own client. According to insiders, Diddy's attorneys realized that the RICO case against him was simply too strong to overcome. They were facing the prospect of lengthy prison sentences themselves if they continued to represent him. So they made the calculated decision to save their own skins by betraying Diddy. The attorneys reportedly provided the feds with a treasure trove of incriminating information, from detailed financial records to secret recordings of Diddy making deals with known criminal elements. This evidence was then used to build an airtight case against the music mogul. And now, 
the feds have finally released some of this explosive new evidence to the public. And let me tell you, it is going to send shockwaves through the music industry. First up, there are the wiretap recordings that allegedly capture Diddy negotiating with members of the Notorious Bloods gang. On these tapes, Diddy can be heard discussing drug trafficking operations, money laundering schemes, and even plans to eliminate rivals who were threatening his business. There are also detailed financial records that apparently show Diddy siphoning millions of dollars from Bad Boy Records to fund his lavish lifestyle and bankroll criminal activities. Prosecutors claim that Diddy used a complex web of offshore accounts and shell companies to hide the true source of his wealth. But perhaps the most damning piece of evidence is the testimony of a former Bad Boy Records employee who has turned state's witness. This individual, whose identity has been kept under wraps, has apparently provided a first-hand account of Diddy's involvement in the murders of Tupac and Biggie. According to this witness, Diddy ordered the hits on both rappers in retaliation for perceived slights and betrayals. The witness claims to have been present when the plans for the murders were hatched and even alleges that Diddy personally recruited the gunman to carry out the hits. Needless to say, this new evidence has been an absolute bombshell. Diddy's carefully cultivated image as a savvy businessman and philanthropist has been shattered, and his legacy is now forever tainted by these shocking revelations. The music industry is reeling, with many artists and executives distancing themselves from Diddy and his bad boy empire. Major brands and corporate partners have also scrambled to cut ties, fearing the fallout from being associated with such a high-profile criminal investigation. And of course, Diddy himself is facing the very real prospect of spending the rest of his life behind bars. The feds have slapped him with a long list of charges, including racketeering, money laundering, drug trafficking, and murder. Prosecutors are seeking a life sentence, and with the mountain of evidence against him, Diddy's chances of avoiding conviction are slim. It's a truly tragic downfall for a man who was once considered one of the most powerful and influential figures in the music industry. Diddy's fall from grace is a stark reminder that even the biggest stars are not immune to the consequences of their actions. So there you have it, folks, the shocking story of Diddy's downfall. It's a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked ambition and the corrosive effects of greed and corruption. But this story is far from over. The fallout from the Diddy scandal is sure to continue unfolding in the months and years to come. And who knows what other bombshells the feds might have in store. That's why it's so important to stay informed and engaged. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single update on this unfolding drama. And feel free to share your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. I always love hearing from you. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.